guys, it's Rochelle here and you are watching She Can Do All Things. In today's video, we are finally gonna be tackling this kitchen and getting it painted white. If you guys have been following me for a while now, you know that we painted our coffee bar white just a couple of months ago and we still absolutely love the color. And so we're gonna go ahead and bring that color all around and we're gonna go ahead and paint the cabinets, the top and bottom white. And I'm also gonna be painting the countertops a very special, bold, interesting color that I'll be sharing with you guys later on in the video. But as of right now, we're gonna go ahead and start wiping down these countertops and prepping them for paint. But I do wanna mention that this is a 1993 single wide mobile home. And so it is very 90s, it is very dated, it is very dark, it is very brown. There are original um, door handles, so we're gonna be changing all of that today. And like I said, um, this project is very budget friendly, so I'm gonna literally transform this whole kitchen um, within the next two days, and we're gonna do this on a budget, and I'm gonna go through the prices with you guys later on, but we're gonna go ahead and get these cabinets wiped down, and we're gonna prep them for paint. So just really quickly, I wanna let you guys know why this huge gap is right here um, in our cabinet space. When we first moved in this house, there was a, um, a very small dishwasher right here, but it didn't work so we ended up throwing it out and it just kind of looks like the the people that were here before us or at some point they kind of like cut out this space to put the dishwasher um but because it wasn't working and we didn't buy another one you know nothing ever got in this in this little section um we just kind of been using it for storage so i'm probably gonna in the meantime put just put like a little small little tiny curtain up here just to kind of cover this um, and then we'll probably eventually just kind of, once we do get all new cabinets, I'll just, you know, that won't be there anymore. But I did just want to mention to you guys why this huge, why this huge random gap was in our cabinet space. Pepper. Hey girl. So now that we have the backsplash or the pillow and stick backsplash taken off, you guys can see the actual original um, horrible wallpaper that was on here. And this wallpaper was actually around the entire kitchen. So like this beige color that you see right here, I actually painted over that. and But the whole entire kitchen was this right here. And this is just ugly and terrible. But we're going to go ahead. done wiping all the cabinets down I have taken all the hardware off and now I'm going to go ahead and try to fill in these top holes right here because I don't need both of the uh, sorry I don't need both of these holes for the hardware that I'm going to be putting up I just need one of these screws so I'm going to go ahead and fill this in and we're going to sand it down so that way once it's completely done it will just kind of be even and flush all throughout and then I also want to point out these like little flower designs in each of these cabinets. These are the only ones that have the flower designs, but they do have them. And they are, like I said, these cabinets are original to, you know, the home itself. Um, I don't necessarily not like them. I actually do like them, but I'm 
kind of concerned that maybe once I paint these cabinets white, like maybe it's going to stand out just way too much and I'm not going to like them anymore. Um, so I'm just pointing that out to you guys. So that way, if you haven't noticed these flower things or these flower designs in the cabinets, um, I'm showing them to you now so that once I do paint them white, you know, you won't be shocked. They're like, oh, what is that? But what I'm going to do is if I do not like them once I paint them, I'll just fill them in, sand them down and paint over them again. So I'd rather leave them up just in case I actually do like them in the end. But if I don't like them, I can easily fix those. So I just wanted to point that out before we start painting. But yeah, guys, I am finally done taking out the hardware. We washed everything. And now I'm going to put some paper down here and then we're going to go ahead and start with the paint, guys. So finally, oh my goodness, because I'm already, as you can see, it is, what time is it? It is 12 o'clock and I have not started painting yet. I remember the days All those years ago that never fade away And I remember your face the ground I can recall the time and place on the midnight walk through the old streets trying to turn back the clock to the days of old back to the days when all the things we knew were made of gold as the world moves on All right, so I have all of our protective paper down. Oh, and then while we're over here, let me show you guys this part of the kitchen. So this right here is the part of the kitchen that faces the living room. So I'm also going to be painting this white as well. So that's why I put this paper down here. So that's all going to be white. And the countertops are going to be a completely different color. Um, and then we're going to follow through the cabinets down here white. And then up here is also going to be white. And then I'm going to do a backsplash. And then, of course, like I said, I'm going to be paint painting the cabinets. So I have all the paper down. And we are finally ready to paint. And I think it's almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So... I was supposed to already be done with my first coat by now, but things happen. We're gonna go ahead and take care of it now.
while I'm getting the kitchen painted really quick, I want to do something or try something. So in one of my last cleaning videos, I had a subscriber, I think her name is Miss Pierce. And she mentioned that she saw that my faucet was hanging like this. And she left a comment saying that there's a weight under the sink that controls this, which I did not know, th know this about it. I just thought this was broken and I needed to replace it. But I'm about to go down here and see if I can find the weight that she's talking about. All right, let's see. And it looks like this is the weight. Yeah, this has got to be the weight that she's talking about because it's, it's attached. Because as I pull on it, this goes up. So I'm going to move this weight really quick and see if that solves the problem. I hope it does. Oh, gosh. I don't want to have to put the camera down while I do this. I might have to. Let me see. All right, it's rolling down. Is water going to be coming out? No. All right, hold on. Okay, so I was able to get the weight moved further up because it was right here, but I moved it all the way to the other side. And voila, it's working. So, Miss Pierce, thank you so much for that tip because I had no idea. I just thought that my sink was breaking because um, it's kind of been like that since we moved in this house. But definitely thank you for that. And I appreciate all of you guys, all of your love and support. Thank you guys so much for all of your comments because you never know, like, your comments definitely mean a lot to me. And that one was just super helpful. So thank you so much, Miss Pierce. All right, guys, um, it is now 5.30. I'm losing sunlight rapidly, and I am nowhere near where I thought I was going to be in this project. But it's okay, because that's how projects go, especially when you buy cheap paint. But like I said, this project for me was or is very budget-friendly, and that's why I went with the cheaper paint. But from now on, and one thing that I would say to you, I mean, if you have a tight budget and you want to get something done, I completely understand because that's where I am right now. But I would definitely recommend to get a more quality and just a more expensive paint, especially if you are on a time crunch. Like if you have to go to work the next day, if you have something to do the next day, definitely do not get paint from Walmart. All right, so these are the towels that we're going to be using for our backsplash. And yes, I did get this from Dollar Tree. Like I said, this is a very budget-friendly project for me. Um, I did do this on my coffee bar, and I will just insert some clips of that because my coffee bar right now is a mess because I literally emptied everything out and kind of like put it over here. But, you know, I'll just show it to you. So these are the towels that I'm talking about. As you can see, they're, they're back there, and they have not fallen not whatsoever so i'm gonna be putting that same thing over here to cover up that wallpaper so we're gonna go ahead and get started on that um they're pretty easy to put up last time i put them up i just needed to you know cut a few pieces um but you will have to cut this so either scissors or a razor will do just fine but I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. And this is the exciting part because it's definitely going to help kind of pull everything together. And then once this is dry, I can kind of clean up and you guys will see what it looks like. But yeah. So I just want to mention really quickly that these next couple of clips while I'm putting up this backsplash, they did not turn out the best. My camera was trying to focus on the back of my head and then trying to focus on the backsplash. And it was completely my fault because I wasn't paying attention to where my camera was and I was reaching in front of the camera. And so it kept trying to focus on me every time I would go in front of the camera. And I did that repeatedly because 
my camera was behind. Yeah. So I want to just apologize for that. So a lot of this did not get put in in detail, but I did leave in what I could and what I could salvage. And once again, I just hope that you guys forgive me for this. I'll just make sure to be checking my camera while I'm filming and not just kind of like going with the flow. So now we are finally at the fun part. We are gonna be painting our countertops. And as you can see, I am holding black and a dark navy blue color in my hand. And don't think I'm crazy, but I wanted to go with something very bold and just something that would contrast really well with the white and also just add that modern touch that I was kind of going for. So it was down to either black or navy blue, but we could only choose one. So drum roll, please. We have chosen black, guys. We are going to be painting our countertops all black. All right, guys, so it is almost 10 o'clock at night, and I'm going to call it a day for today, but I am definitely excited about the progress that I've made. We have the countertops painted and the cabinets, and then tomorrow I'm going to put the top coat on and then put the handles on, and we'll be completely done. But I'm definitely excited about how it's turning out. At first, I thought I was getting kind of nervous. It was looking kind of bad, in my opinion. But now that I have the countertops painted, it is definitely looking a lot, just a lot better. Um, the black that I got, it's not completely black. It looks like a dark, dark gray. And at first I was really concerned about that. But now like looking at it painted, it comes off as like a really pretty gunmetal color, which I'm thinking that it'll probably get darker as it dries anyway. So it might actually end up being black. But right now it's like a dark gray. But yeah, guys, we're going to call it a night. I am done painting for today. It is almost 10 o'clock and the only thing I have to do tomorrow is put on the top coat and put the handles on the doorknobs or put the doorknobs on. But I'm going to take, I'm going to just be done for tonight. I'm completely exhausted. I've been doing this all day. So yeah, I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning.
get to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching as I have done this kitchen transformation. I definitely, well, I did not enjoy doing this, but I do love how it turned out. So just leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Also leave a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.